Okay guys, so what I'm doing here right now is I'm adding some fans inside of the Dometic refrigerator. I'm gonna add them right here. Um, what this is gonna help do is help circulation inside the fridge so it should cool down a little quicker and it will not have to work as hard. Um, what I'm doing here is as you can see, I uh, removed that plug that the wiring for the light and your thermizer come in. And I'm actually going to use that and I'm going to run my wire out the back of the fridge for my fans. So we're going to go to the back of the fridge here. Or if you saw the other video, um, I installed some fans here to help cool the back of the fridge. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to wire those right into this. So that basically whenever I go camping, I have a switch here and I can just turn them on with my switch and turn them off and uh, I can kind of regulate my temperatures that way from the inside of the fridge and the outside of the fridge so first I got to mount these up here and how am I gonna do that okay so what I did is I bought some of these command hooks um, there you can see the part number right there. It's the 17026 clear. And here is what they look like. Um, they are just a little tiny hook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them to the top of the refrigerator on both ends of the fan. And I'm going to use zip ties and I'm going to hang them in there. And I'll show you that process right now. So what I need to do is I need to mount these right here and I want them centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this fin right here and I'm going to mount one of my little command hooks right above here. And to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a rag and I'm going to get that as clean as I possibly can. Now I'll take one of my command hooks. And now when you put these command hooks on, what you wanna do is the way this command hook hooks this way, that's the way I wanna put it on. So I wanna take it and I wanna put it right here. And I want it facing the hook side there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'm gonna put the zip tie through here and make a loop with that zip tie. And make sure you keep this on the outside of it because it could interfere with mounting. Just like that. And now I can take that zip tie that I just put on there and I can hook it into that command hook. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side, but in reverse so that I can now hook that zip tie on the outside. Okay, I've got that all cleaned up now. And I want to do the exact same thing on this side with this zip tie. I want to put the zip tie through just like that. Like I said, now it makes like a hook that you hook your command hook into. Now, okay, take your command hook and you're gonna wanna hook it right into this zip tie here, just like that. And now stretch it over nice and tight and put that on there. And there it is, there's your fans. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my wires and I'm gonna feed them through this, uh, this hole where the thermizer and the power for the light switch come through. And once I get them fed through, I'll show you where they come from or come out on the back side. So on the back side of the refrigerator, there is a hole right here. You can see where your wires all come out. There's the two wires that I just fed through the refrigerator. Now, if you watch my other video with my fans here, 
I have a power wire that I ran. It runs down through here and comes down and hooks into your 12 volt system. What I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to splice to the, these two wires into this wire. And what I'm gonna use to do that is these splicing parts. I don't know if you've ever used them before. They're actually really easy to use, but I'm gonna put them on here so that I can tie these two wires into this system. Okay, there it is. All hooked up and installed. And now this little plastic thing down here, it's just like a little grommet. You just take your wire that you just ran through here and just feed it right in with all the other wires and um, push it back in place. So there it is. I, uh, I added another command and a zip tie here just to hold that wire up and out of the way so it's not in anything. Um, this little grommet here, like I said, you just push, you just put your wire in, you push it back in. Um, to get that grommet out at the beginning, I guess I didn't show you that. Um, it's, it's very simple. I just slid a straight blade screwdriver in behind it and popped it right out. It comes right out. You can slide it out of your way so that you can feed your wire through. Like I said, the wire is going to come out of here. This is where I tied it into my, my fan system for here. It runs down here to a little switch. And right now, I'm actually I'm powering all this right now with a battery. Just because I don't have it in the camper right now. So, this works for kind of testing and stuff like that. So, if you like this video... Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel because we do all kinds of little how-tos like this. So if you have any questions about this uh, install, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'd be happy to answer it.